Anthropometric research of study costs is one of the additional diagnostic techniques used in orthodontics. In this film we will study the commonest methods of analysis. Measurement of mesiodistal tooth size Mesiodistal size of upper and lower permanent teeth is measured between the most distant points of their proximal surfaces and lower incisors along the cutting edge. Space deficit for each tooth is determined by comparison between tooth widths and space available for it in the dental arch. By measuring the width of permanent tooth and its average tabular size, one can determine individual micro or macro dontia. Tons ratio of the upper and lower incisors. Tons index is the ratio between sums of mesiodistal width of four upper and four lower permanent incisors. It equals four thirds or 1.33. This ratio incidence to orthognatic occlusion with normal or vegetal overbite on one third of height of the crowns. Gerlach discovered that ratio of upper and lower incisors depends on the overbite. Gerlach's index equals 1.23 in edge to edge contact, Maligan's index equals 1.42 in case of deep bite. Anthropometric research of dental arch in transverse plane. Pons analysis. Pons established that there is a relation between total width of four maxillary incisors and the width of dental arch in the premolar and molar region. Measuring points on the upper jaw are located in the middle of occlusal groove on bicuspids and in the mesial fossa of the longitudinal groove on the first permanent molars, on the mandible in the contact point between the first and second bicuspids and in the distal buccal cusps of the first permanent molars. Measured premolar and molar values by pawn with Linda Hart's corrections equals 85 and 65 respectively. For example, if the sum of four upper incisors equals 28 mm, normal width of the dental arch should equal 33 mm in premolar region and 43 mm in molar region. Frontal length of the dental arch cork house analysis. Cork House found a relation between total width of four upper incisors and frontal length of the dental arch. Length of the frontal segment of maxillary arch is measured from a point between the central incisors to midpoint of the interpremolar line connecting pond points. These values are compared with the table data in accordance with the sum of incisors. Length of mandibular arch is calculated by subtraction 2 mm from the frontal length of the upper arch, which corresponds to average thickness of central incisors crown. For example, if the sum of four upper incisors equals 28 mm, individual frontal length of maxillary arch should equal 16.5 mm, of mandibular arch 14.5 mm. Ratio of segments of the dental arches by Gerlach. Gerlach divided dental arches on segments in accordance with functions. Frontal segment includes four incisors. Lateral segments include canines, first and second premolars and the first permanent molar. Gerlach found out that lateral segments of upper and lower jaws, right and left, should be equal to each other in orthognatic occlusion, and the length of frontal segment should be the same or less than length of lateral segment. Analysis of the apical base by Snagina Snagina found a relationship between the total width of the mesiodistal diameters of 12 permanent teeth and parameters of the apical basis of the jaws. Width of the apical base is measured in the canine fossae on the maxillar. Mandibular measuring points are located 8 mm below the intersection of interdental papillar line and perpendicular between canine and the first premolar. The width of apical base in permanent dentition amounts to 44% of total width of 12 permanent teeth on the upper jaw and to 43% on the lower jaw. 
length of the upper apical base is measured from a point projected to the occlusal plane to the midpoint of a line connecting distal surfaces of the first molars. In the mandibular arch, the measurement is made from incisal edge to the midpoint of a line connecting distal surfaces of the first molars. Basal arch length on upper jaw normally amounts to 39% from total width of 12 permanent teeth. Basal arch length on lower jaw normally amounts to 40% from total width of 12 permanent teeth.